Hi viewers, welcome to Betamatis Academy. So in this lesson, I want to show you how to solve problems like this. Okay, when you are given a question like this, you are given 1 over x minus 27 raised to the power x equal to 0. So the first thing to do when you have a problem like this is to move this 27 raised to the power x across the equal sign. We now have 1 over x is equal to 27 raised to the power x. So the next thing to do is to express 27 in index form. That is to say, write 27 as a base with a power. That is to say, 1 over x is equal to 27 is something as 3 raised to the power 3, which means 3 times 3 times 3. That will give us 27. I'm going to write 27 as 3 raised to the power 3 or raised to the power x. The x that was here, you still bring it back. Okay, in indices, you remember when you have a raised to the power n bracket m, this is something as a raised to the power n m. So this is power law. Use this power, use the power outside to multiply the power inside. Okay, so applying it here, this becomes 1 over x is equal to 3 raised to the power 3x. So the next thing to do is to remove this x that is here so that we can have a meter equation. How do I remove this x that is here? I'm going to multiply both powers by 1 over x. That is 1 over x equal to 3 raised to the power 3x. So I want to remove this x that is here. I will multiply all here by 1 over x. I will multiply all this power here by 1 over x. All right, so you remember in indices, if you have a raised to power m bracket a over n, power law, power law, say this power should multiply this power here. That means this is going to be equal to a raised to the power m times a over n. So this sentence has a raised to the power m a all over n. Okay, so applying that here, this is 1 over x all raised to the power 1 over x. This is equal to 3 over 3x all divided by x. So this sentence has 1 over x all raised to the power 1 over x is equal to this x will cancel like this x. So x will cancel like this x and then we have 3 raised to the power 3. So the next thing to do, we can say let y to be equal to 1 over x. So if y is equal to 1 over x, then we can rewrite this equation as y raised to the power y is equal to 3 raised to the power 3. In indices, when m raised to the power m is equal to n raised to the power n, then it implies that m is equal to n, provided that n is greater than or equal to 1. So this rule always holds. Whenever base and index are the same thing, and it is equal to another base and index that are the same thing, it means that the base is equal to the base, and the index is equal to the index, provided that the base or the index is bigger than or equal to 1. So applying it to this problem, it means, it means that y is equal to 3. But remember that y is equal to 1 over x. So, but y is equal to 1 over x. So this now implies that 3 is equal to 1 over x. Making x the subject, I'll just cross multiply. 3 times x will give us 3x. 1 times 1 will give us 1. So therefore, making x to stand alone, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So therefore, x is equal to 1 divided by 3. Of course,
So it simply means that the value of x is equal to 1 over 3. And this works perfectly. We can verify. Let's verify. Okay, so verifying. So verifying that x is equal to 1 over 3, that means 1 over 1 over 3 minus 27 raised to the power 1 over 3. Let's see what it's going to give us. Of course, 1 divided by 1 over 3 means 1 divided by 1 over 3 minus this means cube root of 27. So let's see what we're going to have. This is something as 1 times 3 over 1 minus cube root of means number that can multiply itself 3 times to give us 27. And that is 3. Because 3 times 3 times 3 will give us 27. So this is certain as 1 times 3, 3 divided by 1, 3. So this is 3 minus 3. So this is equal to 0, verified. Okay, so this type of questions are amazing and quite interesting. So more content like this, do well to hit the subscription button. So thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.